How's it going everybody? All right, today we are gonna do this little activity to go over saturation, hue, value, tints, and shades. All right, so what you're gonna do is this. You're gonna get a piece of paper and you are gonna get some, some oil pastels here. So we're gonna do this activity in oil pastel because not only are we trying to learn the words here, but I want to get you guys using a little bit of oil pastels just to try it out. Now, the very first thing I do when I've got an oil pastel is like, for instance, you're, you're gonna have the color white, right? So I'd clean it off. Like you can see there's other colors on there. Take a paper towel and just wipe it off. So go next to the sinks, get yourself some paper towel, clean it off, make it look nice and clean, nice and pretty. Now the other colors I would use is you need a hue. So you need some sort of base color. I chose blue for the demo, but, but here you can see I chose red. And you need black as well, all right? So you just need three. You need a color plus a tint and a shade, all right? So what you're gonna do is this, is you're gonna draw a rectangle, a square, and another rectangle, okay, on your piece of paper. I just draw it with pencil first. And if you look really closely, you can see that I drew it with pencil. Now, when we actually go to like color it in, you don't have to stay inside the lines. Um, so you can draw light with the, the regular pencil. The, the pencil is just there to be a guide. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna label everything. So in the first, so right here, the very first rectangle, you are going to put saturation. Now saturation is the intensity of the color. Okay, so uh, when we talk about color intensity, there's different ways to show that. In this case, we're gonna show that by pushing really hard with the oil pastel and going lighter, 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 lighter. So that's how we'll sh uh, show our saturation. There's different ways, like if you think of like the saturation of a picture, like if you go onto like a photo editing app and decrease the saturation, it makes the picture more gray. That, that's just a different type of way of showing saturation, but, but the definition of saturation is the intensity of the color. Now, the next one is hue. Hue is the color in its purest form. Okay, the purest form of the color. Hue could also be a color having full saturation. So that section right there would be the hue of red. And then as we go lighter, it's no longer the hue. All of these are colors though. Right, hue though is specific in that it's the color in its purest form. Then you're gonna make your third section, uh, the, the next rectangle, uh, which is value. Value is the lightness or darkness of a color. And so you're gonna take the hue, so the hue is kind of right in the middle here, and you're going to have it kind of move up um, and you're gonna add a tint, so adding white to a hue. All right, label everything though. So you're gonna do it exactly like this. So you're gonna have the hue, add white, that's called a tint. So adding white to a hue, then you're gonna do a shade, adding black to a hue. You're gonna try to get it to fade as smoothly as possible. Again, the idea is to get you using oil pastels. Oil pastels are a little bit different. Now, you're not gonna get it super smooth. Like if you look really close, it's not, it's not like a computer generated gradient right? A gradient is like a blending from one color to the next, a smooth um, blending. It's not going to be completely smooth. That's just kind of the nature of oil pastels. Artists throughout centuries have embraced that. Um, embrace the fact that you can't get it completely smooth. It gives your artwork a different style. And so maybe some of you will like it better and maybe some of you guys won't like it as much. You should also know that as far as oil pastels go, there's more expensive oil pastels and there's less expensive oil pastels. Oil pastels that we give to like children, they're not gonna be able to blend quite as easy. Oil pastels that we get, like that you would buy from a really expensive art supply store, they'll blend super easy. So you'll see a lot of the YouTube or TikTok stars using really expensive oil pastels because those will blend kind of like makeup. We have oil pastels that are, to be honest, somewhere in the middle. So. Real quick, I just kind of want to show you how to do that third rectangle. I figure, I figure the first rectangle here, that, that one's pretty easy. I think you can figure that one out for yourself. That one's obvious, you just color it, push hard with the oil pastel. This third section right here though, that's maybe a little bit more complicated. So let me show you how to do that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a pencil and I'm going to, I'm gonna lightly draw a rectangle right here. 
Okay, so, so your paper would essentially kind of look like this. You can get everything even if you want. I, on my example, I didn't get it even. It actually kind of bothers me. But, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to draw my three rectangles. I'm going to do it super light. Then you're going to label it. So you're going to write your words. Okay? Just like this. So that's where all your words go. And uh, I'll, I'll post a picture of this so that you can copy it verbatim. Um, in any event, we'll, we'll do this third one. So I've cleaned off my oil pastels, so I've got the hue right here, the hue of blue. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna push pretty hard. You can turn the paper, try not to get fingerprints everywhere. Oil pastels are a little bit messy. Now, you don't need to color inside the lines. I personally don't care about that. If you want to color inside the lines, if you're, you know, if you care about that, then go ahead and color inside the lines. I, I really don't care. It is kind of your demo. All right, and I'm gonna push pretty hard to, to get that to look the, the way that we want it to look. I'm gonna get that hue. Now, as I go down, this is gonna be where my shade is gonna go. So I'm gonna add black to this later on, and I'm gonna kind of just create, you know, kind of like what you're gonna do with the saturation. You're gonna just kind of go lighter, lighter, lighter. Then on the top, now you can even flip the paper upside down, which is what I like to do. Again, try not, on the backs of your hands, keep your hands clean, right? Um, if you if you got blue fingerprints or blue fingertips, don't put that on the page because it's gonna leave a fingerprint. If the back of your hand is all dirty, that means you're smearing it. So keep everything clean. You can even put paper towels down too, if that helps, if you wanna hold your paper like that. That, I mean, that's not a bad way to go either. But in any event, you're gonna go lighter, lighter, lighter. Now, I'm gonna choose not to actually touch the top of my rectangle there. I'm gonna leave that white. Okay, so I, I would argue that white, adding the tint is the hardest part uh, of this entire piece of paper um, because it's really hard to get it smooth. I still, you know, and, and you won't get it perfect, but get it close, as close as you can. Um, you know, when you get these little, like, like big areas, you can kind of pick them up off your paper. And uh, I'm just coloring into that blue, um, into the hue, which my hue is blue. But I'm just kind of coloring it up. I mean, you can kind of go in different directions also, if you want. I'm going pretty fast with this, just to make the video not boring. You could go slower than me, and you'll probably get something a little bit better than what I'm getting. See how I did that just there? It's like picking up some of that blue. So occasionally what you can do is you can re-clean your oil pastel off. I like to clean up all these like crumbs too. Again, try not to smear everything. Um, certain colors too are easier to blend. I would say that the red is a little bit easier to blend than the blue. But basically, you're going to just do what I did. Again, it doesn't need to be totally smooth. But, but get as smooth as you can, as good of a gradient as you can. Then we're going to turn the paper over. So I'm going to grab my black here. And I'm going to basically repeat the process. So I'm going to go ahead and put some paper towel under my hand. I don't want to make it all messy. I'm going to lightly go in and make it darker, darker, darker. Okay, now. Something happened there where it's not, it's not the same as the white. Uh, the black is different than the white. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, it, you see how you got all those little spots? It's not, you know, I, I wasn't able to push hard enough because it would have just turned it black. So I think the black's maybe a little softer than the white or something. So I'm gonna go back in with blue and I'm gonna try to make that gradient a little bit better. Now I'm gonna go up into the hue, but I don't wanna get that black on my hue. I'm trying to keep the hue as clean as I can. So, so you clean your oil pastel off as you go. Cool. And I, I would say that's good. I, I think I can still do a little bit better job. Like I still see kind of a line right there between the black and the blue. I think I can, Get that a little smoother because again it's not just about learning the definitions it's also about learning how to use oil pastel you can sometimes go up and down um, be careful with that though 
Um, and you can go, go back with your black again. Sometimes using the edge, that'll help smooth it out. And that's nice. Ooh, that made it nice and smooth. That made it a lot better. Um, maybe in the camera it doesn't look better. Um, you're just gonna maybe have to trust me that in real life that, that gradient's a lot smoother. You know what I'm gonna do? Is I'm actually gonna take the wrapper off of this guy here. And, and you're welcome to do that too. The wrapper is not necessary. And um, I'm gonna try doing that with the blue. So I'm gonna clean off my oil pastel here. And let's see if I can do it. Now notice again, I'm turning the page as I go. Ooh, that's actually working a little bit better. So go ahead and give that a try. Instead of using the tip of the oil pastel, go ahead and use the side of it. And maybe you'll have better luck. I know I'm having a little bit better luck. Look at how I'm holding the oil pastel too. I'm not, it's not a pencil. A little bit of black got in there. So that's kind of a bummer. I'm gonna kind of pick that black up. Now I'm noticing my hue kind of went away a little bit. So I'm gonna take the side of the hue, so my blue, and I'm just trying to smooth it out a little bit. Try and get rid of those lines. Again, it's not gonna be perfect, but I do want you to do your best. Um, you can take your finger too and kind of smear it. So now the rest of the stuff I think you can kind of figure out on your own. Uh, just follow this diagram and I'll have it posted for you or I'll have it on the projector. Now in order to get full points you'll need to label everything too. Let me know if you have any questions. Over and out.